Hi, this is JP and welcome to this basic tutorial on using Titus BBD Delay as an insert effect. I'll create a combo compact. Now I'll create a Titus BBD delay. We already have 3 sixteenths set as the default delay time with feedback. So now I'll pan the wet signal to the right and the dry signal to the left. Job done. Titus includes additional features from its big brother, the six delay line steer pike BBD delay ensemble. Firstly, we have the BBD enable button. This uses our exclusive BBD algorithm for true 70s style bucket brigade delays. Unlike steer pike, for Titus we use a fixed clock rate and a fixed frequency anti-aliasing filter for the sample and hold circuit. If we maximise the feedback, you can hear the repeat decay slowly over time as the sound is refiltered on each feedback loop. You can turn off BBD mode and use an interpolated delay line like the DDL1. This mode does not include the filter. Turning off the BBD, this also clears the delay buffer. If I play the note again, you'll hear that it doesn't decay and it isn't filtered. If I add another note, that note is added to our infinite delay. But turn off the DL gate and further input bypasses the delay line. The left side of the delay level control is high pass filtered. For delay times, you can select between Buck Brigade's days numbers up to 16,384, time from sub 1 millisecond up to a massive 8 seconds and tempo synced with all beat divisions from a minimum to a sixteenth, and then all further half and triplet subdivisions up to a 256th. We also have BBD style harmonic distortion, and you can reverse the delay. For more complex reverse behavior, such as reverse with feedback, there are preset combinators available. On the back, we have several CV inputs and the tap inputs and outputs for external feedback loops. Mod CV and tap feedback level can be controlled from the front using their respective level in knobs. I'll hook a 100 LA to the mod CV in, then increase the mod in amount. You can also try it on the delay input for weird and wonderful tape speed modulation effects. For the tap inputs, perhaps try it on a filter. The delay gets progressively more filtered on each repeat. Do be very careful when using taps, it is easy to create extremely loud feedback loops. 
So always start with low levels and increase gradually until you find an acceptable level. With Titus, the non-tapped feedback can still be added, but again, this can cause very loud levels, so be very cautious if you wish to try this. That was a brief overview of Titus. Thank you for watching.